Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Never take me alive. Today I'm back on the local range and I just happen to have my AR-15 pistol chambered in 5.56 by 45 millimeter. Uh, this one is Palmetto State lower uh, SBA-3 arm brace, radical firearms upper, diamond head polymer backup sights front and rear. But the reason why we're here today is to talk about the Vortex VMX 3T 3x magnifier. And ahead of that I have the Vortex Strike Fire 2 red and green dot. I've been getting a lot of questions and, and talk about Predon. Don't you need magnification? And up until just recently I said no. I'm going to be using this for shooting targets at 100 yards or CQB, close quarters, um, in a town or trying to protect my life, I would just be using this red dot. But then some voice of reason came from somewhere, probably from one of you guys actually, somebody recommended me a video, and they were talking about the size of the targets that you're going to be firing at and what the presentation is going to look at. So in like a, a combat situation, and I, I, I haven't served, I don't know much about combat, but it only makes sense that the guys you're going to be, or people, or animals, or targets <laughs> that you're going to be firing at, they're not going to be, hey, I'm right here. They're going to be behind something. They're going to be behind cover. And so with just a red dot, it's hard to get a good a good beat on something if it's hiding behind a wall. So I decided to pick up a magnifier to help with that, to magnify my targets. So this is a three times magnifier. It is flipped to the side. So I'm a left-handed pistol or rifle shooter. And so I opted to put the button on this side. So if I'm shooting, I could take this hand and not take it off the fire control and then just grab it and flip it. It's a really nice, nice magnifier. Now I'm not going to sit here and talk about it all day. I got some shootsteel.com targets set up at 75 yards. I'm just going to run this. This is the first time I've used it out of the box and then after a few mags we'll go over to the bench and I'll give you some of the specifications. Yes, it makes this thing a little more hefty but Vortex also came out with a three times micro magnifier, so it's a little bit smaller. It depends on what you can what you can handle. I sling this all the time, so it hangs there, you know, and I can carry it. So got some 55 grain Tula full metal jacket in this bag, but I think we're gonna have to load a few more. So enough talking. Let's load it up and have some fun. There they are, three quarter silhouettes, painted orange, 75 yards. Well, let me just get a peep through this before I start shooting. <laughs> that three times magnification certainly makes a difference, but you have to be more steady. <laughs> we have a 20 mile an hour crosswind today. Let's do it. I think this magnifier makes me shoot worse. And so you don't have to zero the magnifier since it's just a, it's just a magnifier. You zero your vortex or your what, whatever you got. And then if you want to center the red dot in the magnifier, that's what these little screwies are for. But I flipped it aside. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's why I do the first takes with you guys, so you can actually see what I'm seeing, my professional opinion, or scientific opinion. You really, really, the way I have this mounted, you really have to have your nose up against the charging handle. And the reason I put it, the way I put it forward is so that I could still use my irons if I had to. I mean, you never know. But you really have to bear down on this thing to keep that dot nice and steady with that magnification. Got to test these P mags, boys and girls. All right, one more mag. We'll go over to the bench. I'm going to set Caitlin up and let her rip some rounds from the bench. And then, like I said, we'll talk about the specs just a little bit. A little bit. It does take uh, some getting used to. Wow, I'm gonna shoot one up close. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shoot three up close. I got a target like right there. I just kinda wanna see what's going on. I'm not sure if you have to put the center of this dot in here, but in the literature I read it said you didn't have to, as long as it's in there. So, okay, I'm gonna let Caitlin load it up and see what she can do from the bench. Oh, click no bang. See what we got there. Nothing's in there. Nothing. All right, I think Caitlin probably ended up missing three. <laughs> but it, this thing is actually, like I said, it's pretty heavy with that magnifier on there. And I'm not saying I can't shoot a heavy gun. I'm just saying it does make quite a difference in the weight so and it just has a mil spec trigger in it it's just a regular palmetto state armory lower because my anderson lower with a really nice trigger in it it's bang bing 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 dun, 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 dun. so i figured it'd be easier for this video if we just use a regular old lower well i can't be outdone so i'm gonna sit down and shoot it from the bench i guess Another 30 round mag, same distance, 75 yards, but from the bench this time.
Oh, missed that one. Does this magnifier help? Yes. Is it a nice, nice magnifier? Yeah. Um, I probably should have gone with the micro, get a little better weight reduction. But I just kind of like the way this one looks. Another thing to consider when you have a magnifier, if this is a 3 MOA dot, say, this magnifier is not only going to magnify your target, it's going to magnify the red dot or whatever you have ahead of it. So that dot, instead of being a really nice tight dot, actually opened up quite a bit. So, and when I flipped the magnifier aside and was just using the red dot, it almost gives me more of a kind of a reference point. It, it makes this dot more surgical, you know, if you will. It makes it a lot, a lot tighter. Um, I'll give you the, can you pass me the box there, Caitlin? I'm going to just give you the specs right off the box here and now. So here's the box. It comes with your fair share of, you know, Vortex stuff. It's got your manual, some wrenches, maybe. I can't remember. So the size, um, the width is, is uh, or length rather, is 1.7 inches. Wait, that's not right. Height. Oh, the height. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. The height is 1.7 inches. Uh, the width is 4.3. Uh, the weight on this magnifier is 7.6 ounces. So you're adding 7.6 ounces to whatever platform you put it on. Uh, the mounted height is 11 mounted weight is 11.9 ounces. So you add, there's a shim in there so you can shim it to where you like it. With all that stuff, it says it's 11.9 uh, ounces. Field of view is 38.2 feet. Eye relief is 2.2 inches. So yeah, you have to be, you have to be right up on it to get that good field of view. Yeah, well, I think we, we did pretty good there. It was, I always give you guys my first opinion on things and that's just what this is. So final thoughts on the Vortex VMX 3T magnifier. The glass is really clear. It does what it advertised to do. I mean, it works. Is it a little on the heavy side? I think so, I think so. But I did notice from the bench, when I was using the magnifier on those targets, the group was definitely a lot tighter, even though the dot was magnified. So I'm just gonna have to do like you're supposed to and just train with the equipment that I have. So. I'm going to keep this on here, and if I don't want to use it, I'll just flip it to the side. It looks really cool, flip to the side. Oh, one thing to note is this is a left or right hand flipper. <laughs> you can mount this base onto the magnifier so it flips to the right or it flips to the left. And uh, that's about it. Oh, it's the end of the video. I got some merch. Please. No, don't please. Just buy some shirts. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you want to help support the channel. Uh, it's storefrontier.com forward slash predon death. The link to my clothing will be in the pinned comment and in the description box below. Also, in the comments, let me know what you think about these magnifiers. I did a bunch of talking to a bunch of people just to see what they thought, and everybody thought that magnification was good. And I didn't want to go with a scope. I just didn't want to put a scope on this. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.